Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you what a real 4D Klein bottle looks like. I have here a Klein bottle in three dimensions. Klein bottles are really neat because supposedly they have no volume. Now this is a Mobius loop. Mobius loops are cool because it's a one-sided surface. So the Mobius loop has one side and one boundary. And I'm right back to where I started from. <laughs> but in 1882, a mathematician named Felix Klein had an idea. He thought, what if you taped two Mobius loops together and got rid of the boundary and had only one side? Now what he was imagining is this, a Klein bottle named after him. So the Klein bottle has no edge, it's boundary free and it has no volume as well. You know what else doesn't have a volume is this beaker right here. So how does this beaker and this Klein bottle both not have a volume? Now a cylinder has a volume, but that's because you can measure the length of it. So you could measure the volume of this by imagining that there's a surface on the top here. But when there's no actual surface at the top, mathematically it doesn't have a true volume. Because this shape doesn't enclose a volume, you'd have to tell it where the top is. Well this beaker here is actually topologically the same as a disc. It has two sides, this side and this side, separated by an edge. But a Klein bottle is different. It has no edge, no boundary. So you can see if I follow my finger around the edge, I end up on the inside of it, but if I keep going, if I can move my finger through the inside, you'll see that I could follow it back, come through this area here, and then I would end up on the outside of it if I could pass through the surface here. Now Klein bottles are really interesting to look at and they look really difficult to make too. And there's a lot of videos about them saying, can you fill a Klein bottle, is it possible? But interestingly enough, this isn't actually a Klein bottle. This is actually what they call a 3D immersion of a 4D Klein bottle. The problem that we have is that it intersects itself, and a real Klein bottle doesn't intersect itself. So let me show you how it's possible to get rid of this intersection here if there are four spatial dimensions. For example, let's say we have this 2D person living in 2D space. So because they live in two dimensions, they can only see something on the surface of this paper. If I put my finger here, they don't actually see my hand or arm or anything, but they just see a little circle right where my finger is touching the paper. So let's say we have this shape in their two-dimensional world. If there's only two dimensions, if you want this shape, you can only have a shape that intersects itself. You can't have anything different. But if we had an extra dimension that this could loop back on itself without going through itself, then we could get this shape, but it wouldn't have to intersect itself. So what we could do is just pick it up off of this two dimensions and lift it up above itself. So from two dimensions, it would look like this. So you could just lift it up into the third dimension like this. So what we were able to do is get it to cross over itself by lifting it up into the third dimension, not only using these two dimensions. But you can see if we view it from above, it looks like it intersects itself. That's the same reason why we can get a 3D version of a 4D Klein bottle, because it looks like it intersects itself. But to see the true Klein bottle, we have to be able to go up one more dimension and see it not intersecting itself. So in two dimensions, now what this would look like would be this shape. It would look like it just ended because this part is the part that went up into the third spatial dimension. But because they can only see what's in the two dimensions, then they can't see the part that went into the three dimensions. So keep this in mind when I show you what a 4D Klein bottle looks like. I'd like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay is a one-stop solution for PCB manufacturing and assembly. PCBWay offers low volume PCB production for your small orders, and if you find a higher price somewhere else online, you can just let them know and they'll try to match it or even beat it. Because of their unique processing capabilities, they have the shortest lead time possible. And also, you can find all your PCB related services, but they also offer 3D printing, CNC services, injection molding, and sheet metal fabrication. The reason that PCBWay can offer such low prices is because they're a manufacturer and a PCB assembler, so they can skip the middleman. So if you want to check out PCBWay today and make some really cool stuff, click the link in my description or head to PCBWay.com. This is an app called 4D Toys. And how it portrays four spatial dimensions is that it shows you the three spatial dimensions, but on the right hand side here you have a slider bar. And this slider bar allows you to slide up and down through the fourth dimension. So it's the equivalent of if you were in two dimensions, you could slide up and down in that third dimension there. So you could see any plane of it at one time that you want to. 
So we can still only see what's happening in three dimensions at one time because we live in a three dimensional world, but you can choose what fourth dimensional plane you want to view that in. So because we're viewing everything in four dimensions, they're not called the shapes that we're normally used to calling things. For example, a square isn't a square, it's called a tesseract. So for a tesseract, that's a fourth dimensional cube. So we can slide up and down in the fourth dimension and we keep seeing a cube. If it were a real square, what would happen is as soon as we start sliding up and down in the fourth dimension, the square would just disappear altogether. It can't be up in that fourth dimension at all. But depending on how you turn the tesseract in the four and three dimensions, then you're gonna see different parts of that cube at one time. The same thing with the sphere. If you have a fourth dimensional spheroid and you slide that up and down in the fourth dimension, you'll still see a sphere, but that sphere will change size. So now we can understand how we can view fourth dimensions using this app here. So let's see what a true Klein bottle looks like. Not a three dimensional immersion of it that we're used to seeing that has an intersection. So we're only going to be able to see slices of the Klein bottle at one time. But what we can see is this intersection point. You can see that it intersects itself right here. But now we have a new spatial dimension that we can move that intersection up and over away from it. So I can push this button here and it will unintersect it. So it will show us a true Klein bottle. So the surface can pass through itself without making an intersection or a hole. Notice how this 3D image of the 4D Klein bottle looks very similar to the 2D image of the shape I showed before that went up into the third dimension. You're missing a piece of it. So the piece that's missing right here is going into the fourth spatial dimension. So it doesn't intersect itself. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest videos and check out actionlab.com if you haven't yet. I sell two science boxes there where you can get your own vacuum chamber or your own self-pouring fluid. And we're almost out of these boxes and we're not gonna be getting them back. So if you haven't got them yet, check it out today. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.